<laughs> Sit down at the bar. It is. Welcome to my Nissan 350Z. Now today we are just approaching the M6 toll as we are on our way up to GT6 Ollie's house uh, for a bit of car spotting around Audley Edge which I'll tell you about in a little bit. Now this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the free online car show directory and uh, bear with me I'm about to pay to use a motorway. Boop. You're essentially paying to use it as a drag strip. That's what it's there for. So Alderley Edge is known as the London of the North. It's about three and a half hours away from us, maybe up to four hours. Uh, and we're gonna see what it's all about because I've never actually properly been there. I've driven through it once before. And our good friend's GT6 Ollie lives fairly nearby, so we're gonna visit him as well. So I'm gonna show you around, but uh, I'll catch up with you once I'm a little bit closer to the Peak District, which is a lovely part of the country as well. Ollie's house, we've got a lovely conditioned Hyundai accent in front of us. He takes care of his whip, and uh, I think I will catch up with you once we're with Ollie because I don't know where to go right now. So, see you in a bit. Orange Mustang with stripes. So, we are now following GT6 Ollie in not his Triumph GT6, not his MX5, but his girlfriend's BMW Z4. And we're going to head into Audley Edge for a few hours and see what's what. So Audley Edge is part of what's called the Golden Triangle, which is a combination of three towns, Audley Edge um, and two other ones. <laughs> Wil Wilmslow is another one of them, and then there's a third one. And a lot of footballers buy their big houses up there, so a lot of footballers drive around the area. There's also a lot of other wealthy, miscellaneous people. So there's a lot of miscellaneous nice cars around there as well. So that's what we're going to go see. And uh, today, so I'm hopefully I bring you a bit of a different video to normal. I think we're going to McDonald's first and then we're going to do a little bit of car spotting, classic style. I'm guessing his grass was quite high. Alright, lovely. Park and performance spider. Oldly Edge, we have arrived. Arrive! There's a few hot spots around here. There's a petrol station that all the car spotters go to. There's the main high street. There's a roundabout that tomorrow I'm hosting a drive-by car show at. That'll be fun. I think we're just going to drive around. I'm just following Ollie and seeing where he goes. We might even park up and spectate on foot. Uh, we've got a few hours, so let's see what happens. This appears to be the main strip, the high street of Audley Edge where the wealth happens. That's the Waitrose car park. You often see a lot of cars in that car park there. Down there. Can't see any today. He's got an Everyone Loves the White Chaser t-shirt. <laughs> There's the car spotters and one of them is wearing one of my t-shirts. Fantastic. Oh, I love that. So this is the petrol station that they all um, go car spotting in and, and there's like 10, 10 of them plus, 10, 15. <laughs> so yes, we are going to park up and maybe spend a couple of hours as a Jaguar XKR just coming in. There are car spotters everywhere, a bit like London. And there's a few Aventadors out today as well, which is lovely, Ferraris, etc. So here we are parked on the side of the road. We're gonna go on first and see what's around. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird video today. Everyone's filming. What is it? What is it? It's a 458 Spider. So here is Piccolino's and this is the strip where everyone goes. This is the, the glamour of Audley Edge. We've got a Bentley and an MGB over there in baby blue. So here is the lovely baby blue MGB Rosa. It's got the chrome bumpers at the front, but it's also been debumpered at the back and they've blended in the bodywork. It's had a lot of bits done to it corner cover on and then the Bentley GTC and apparently an Audi R8 coming around the corner that's not an R8 that is an R8 oh downshift
Cayman. Another MGB. We're going to get an MGB combo here. We've got the Roadster down there and a rubber bumper GC here. Oh, I love these. Is that the new, like, Porsche Taycan? That's the first one I've actually seen. It didn't sound of anything. Dodge Challenger. Oh, an Aventador SVJ. Well, there you go. I think that's the norm now. Noises. Porsche 991. Doing noises. Apparently the locals hate all of this because of the sounds that occur. But we're going to head back into the village part of Audley Edge and see what's around there. F-Type Coupe. Got the combo. You see, everything is coming out now that I'm in town. <laughs> A Ferrari H12 Superfast. Oh, the Taycan is back. This is literally the first time I've ever seen one of these. Something a bit different, a split-screen camper van, cruising by. GT4 has parked up. Bullet Mustang. All right, it's camera shy and pulling into the junction. Goodbye. So we are now sat at a cafe, and we're going to do some, like, spotting whilst drinking some coffee. And uh, we just spotted this uh, two-tone classic in, like, Bugatti style sat at the junction over there. Can't quite work out what it is. I can't see a bonnet emblem, so I don't know. Is it Aston? Doesn't look very Aston, but fair enough. That's lovely. 720S, the struggle is real. He's on trade plates, he's probably on the test drive. Park up here, mate. And an Aston Martin language. What the hell is going on with that rat? Apparently we've got a combo coming up, two Lamborghini Hurricanes. I'm still interested in the wrap on this evoke. Um, yeah, the Hurricane Evos times two. Still in love with these cars. Maybe, maybe one day. Bullet. So we had a 458 just now, and now we've got a 488 Pista on its way up. He's FAL first out lights. They are running for it. I mean, we don't need to run. We can, we can just literally sit, sit down at the bar, spot some yellow Cayman GT4s, combo with the 488 Pista as it cruises by. There we go. There's the shot. What a DBS. Yes, yeah, someone knows what's up. A 350Z. That is a wide body one with a wing. That's got a rocket bunny kit. She is loving life. That sounds unusual, like a, a, a tuba rather than a trombone. Oh, cheeky AMG GTR in matte black. Go on, Carl N. It's the stick. He's on a drive. The kids are screaming because there's a 488 and he's trigger happy with his throttle pedal. Oh, that is a lovely colour. That's what I get. That is exactly what I would get. We've now got a very bright orange Lamborghini Urus coming up. I don't know if it is a matte orange or gloss. Very orange nonetheless. <laughs> so now that we've had some lovely drinks, we're going to head back to where we started and see what else is going on. So already straight ahead, we've got a classic Mustang coming down with a Lamborghini Huracan with some orange strikes. It's probably the Avio edition or something similar. So the Mustang and then the Huracan as well. It's visible. Aston Martin seem to be common today. Ah, as I was saying, we've got an orange V8 Vantage. It's a lovely colour again. So we are back at Piccolino and there is a 488 parked up. Pink Bentley on the prowl. Oh, the Vantage is back. He's doing some sighting laps. Ah, the Huracan is back as well. He's got the orange bits to match the Aston that was earlier. We've got a Mark II MX-5 in purple as well. Lovely, a Triumph Spitfire driving by, little horn on the toot, wait, toot on the horn. 
So we've got some food booked for tonight, so we're going to head over to Wilmslow, which is another part of the Golden Triangle, and maybe see the sights of what's there as well. Oh no, we're coming up to the castle Junction. We're going to have to give them noises. So we're now heading to the roundabouts where I will be hosting my drive-by car show, which is tomorrow as we speak, to kind of test out the area, see what it's like. Then we're going to head into Wilmslow, which as I said is another part of the Golden Triangle, and then go for food, I think. But Old Edge was pretty decent. SVJ, many, many Aston Martins and Porsches, classic cars, MGPs, love it. Uh, it was a great experience, so I hope to be back tomorrow and see just as much, if not more. So we have picked up an Ignis and found a tunnel. So we are now in Wilmslow, which is another part of the Golden Triangle, so hopefully we can spot some more cars. And there's an Aston Martin dealership just behind me, so we're going to head up there now. Oh, yes. So here is the Aston Martin dealership with a Jaguar F-Pace bang smack in the middle of it. Mark 1 Escort rolling by. There's also a Range Rover with the Aston Martins. We've also got the V8 Vantage and the DB11 Volante. We've got the DBS Superleggera a DB11 and another DB11 Volante. Someone's making some vital decisions in his life, a bit of an upgrade maybe. Another nice colour on this DB11 here. There's loads of DB11s and then there's the DB9 Vantage. I can hear something, sounds like a V12 Ferrari. It is! That's a Ferrari 550 rolling by. Lovely. But we are now at our evening spot. Chili banana, we're gonna have some food here, so I'll catch up with you once we have uh, digested some grub. Yeah. So we're all very full up with our lovely dindins, a bit of Thai food, and I've just spotted a car that is parked down the high street of this place that we're in. Wilmslow. Wilmslow. Fiesta with the very brave green wheels. But we're gonna go head to where apparently there is a few lovely cars in a showroom to see what's what. Oh, the Ferrari is back. Lovely. Oh, it's a different one. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Like the jungle. Someone's parked a Toyota Supra outside a BMW dealership. How bizarre. We got Porsche, loads of Porsches. This is Deanway Industrial Estate. And a Ferrari dealership. Hello. Lau's Golf is gone. So we've got a 812 Superfast on the left. It looks like a 48 Pista. And we've got a F12 TDF, a 488 Pista Palotte, Portofino. Your destination is on the right. Loads of Ferraris up there. Loud rises! So we are now on our way back to Ollie's house to spend the night drinking some Malcolm Holes, but socially distancing as well. It's gonna be a challenge, but we're going to do it. So I hope you enjoyed that video and were educated in what Orderly Edge had to offer. Tomorrow I'm doing my drive-by car show, which I'm really looking forward to. So keep an eye out for that video if I have not already uploaded it, but follow me on Instagram for all the highlights and updates about what I'm up to. But for now, thanks for watching.